Hi, I'm Lala, and in this video I'm going to show you how to compile the battery emulator source code. So the first thing you actually want to always do is to uh, take the latest release. I'm going to take this version 3.01 instead of using main, since this will always be stable. So I'm going to open that, and uh, then I'm going to go down to pressing uh, source code. And this will uh, download the latest version. So if we click here, uh, this is actually a zip file and I'm gonna extract all uh, right here. There we go. So now we have it extracted. And uh, now when we have the software on our uh, PC, we have to go and install the actual Arduino IDE. So if we go back uh, here, we have the how to compile the software. So the first step is going to be to download the Arduino IDE. So I'm going to go here and we are going to download it for Windows. And uh, click here. I'm going to open it up. Yes. I'm going to install it. I agree. Yes. And I don't want to run it. Then we can go back to the file and we're going to go into the software folder. And there's going to be a lot of files here, but what we want to open is this one, the so actual software file. So now it will open the Arduino IDE. This thing is opening a lot of files. But yes, now it is loaded. Then we need to do some uh, setups. If we go back to the page, uh, when the Arduino IDE has been started, we're gonna go in the file preferences, additional development and enter this URL. So I'm just gonna copy this link. Says additional board manager URLs. I'm press this. Yes. Okay. Okay. And now we're gonna go to the boards manager and install the ESP32 package by Espressif. By Espressif Systems. So we're gonna take the latest here. It's installed. Next step is to set the flashing. I'm uh, gonna go with the SP32 dev module. Gonna go via the board SP32 SP32 dev module. Now that we have this selected, we can check that all these settings are correct. This 92160 is important. And yeah, it has this upload speed, yes. So this looks good. Then we're gonna select which battery type we will use. And this is done via the file. If we scroll down to user settings, this header file. So in this file, we can uh, select which battery we are using. For instance, if we are using a Tesla Model 3 battery, I'm gonna select that and we're gonna uncomment the leaf battery. And then we're going to select which inverter we are using. And if we want to use the uh, uh, can bid, we're going to do this. And uh, yes, that looks good. We're actually going to be using a uh, 60 kilowatt hour battery. And yeah, this looks good. So now I'm going to uh, save this file. And now we are ready to upload. So let me just connect the board. Boom. 
and now if we go into tools and port we're gonna select the port that it appeared with and now we're gonna press this upload No, we have flashed. Then we can go via the uh, tools and select the serial monitor. And we can see the messages coming from the port. Actually, I don't have a, uh, anything connected at the moment, so it's not going to show any uh, good values. But yeah, that's it. That's it. We are now successfully flashed.